My name is Kenneth McKenzie, and I am proud to be a member of the Board of Trustees of the Washington Association of New Jersey. I'm standing in front of the museum in the Morristown National Park, and as I look up the walkway, I see the Ford Mansion. This property, including the mansion and the association's vast collection of colonial and Revolutionary War artifacts were donated to the Morristown National Park shortly after the park was created by federal law in 1933. The architect of the museum was John Russell Pope. Pope's concept was to recreate the exterior image of Mount Vernon, George Washington's home in Virginia. Here we are in the American Style Gallery. We can see here how people lived during the time of the Revolutionary War. Included are articles of clothing, furniture, games, and other artifacts that relate to that period. Now we are in the Military Gallery, which is also known as the Winning Independence Room. Here we can see the tools of the soldier's trade including musketry, ammunition, cannons used in the artillery. My favorite piece is a large chain link that was part of an installation used to chain off the Hudson River from British invasion. This is the film room. Here on continuous display is the video entitled Morristown, Where America Survived. It tells the story of the difficult winter of 1779-1780 and the soldiers that had to endure the worst ever winter in New Jersey out in the field. Stand with George. This is the selfie corner. We are now in the Lloyd W. Smith collection room. Here we read pamphlets of protest, newspapers, rare books, irreplaceable items from the Revolutionary War period that tell the story of how and why the Patriots felt as fervently as they did for the cause of liberty and freedom.